hurt you. I, 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 think, I think about everything. I think about my life. I think about how hard I've trained for the past two months. So I, I just look, I look at him, I think I need to hurt you. My name's Lucian Reid. I'm 22 now, birthday was the other day, and I'm from Hackney, East London. Growing up for me, was it, I had a good life. My parents did everything for me. Um, if I wanted something, I wouldn't get it straight away, but for my birthday or Christmas, I'll get it. But I had to work for it, I had to make sure I did, I was, I was good. Um, but growing up, I, I, had, I had naughty brothers and sisters. Like, we used to fight. We used to fight non-stop. Even my sister, we used, to, we used to bash each other up. So, yeah, I, I had a fun childhood, I have to say. Going to boxing at that age of, um, well, 11. I started at 11 because me and my brother, we both got into, well, he got into a fight on the street outside my dad's house and my brother wasn't fighting back. My brother was holding on to um, the guy while the guy was trying to punch him. So my dad came out and said, look, you two need to learn how to fight. Got into it because of fitness, because I was, I was playing for Hackney at the time, football district. And I just, I excelled at boxing and, and football just, I left it behind. I was nervous when I, when I turned pro because, and I know, I know how much there is to gain out of being a professional boxer, but I know how risky it is as well. Like, there is a lot of injuries in professional boxing. So I, I do know, I do know the risk, but I do know the, um, the rewards as well. Me and Peter, me and Peter, we get along. He, he's like a dad to me. I see, I see him so much. I see him probably more than my family. And I, I love Peter because he, he helps me out. He, he's helping me out a lot at the moment as well while I'm not in training camp. So he is, he is sorting me out. My last fight against Samuel Escobar. He was, he was a late um, replacement because I was meant to box someone but they pulled out on a Wednesday and I was boxing on the Saturday. So I didn't know nothing about him I, and when I see him at the weigh-in he, he, was, he was massive compared to me. He was only five foot four but he, was, he, was, he, he had a big frame. Um, the fight went well. I got caught in the second round but recovered within the second but it was just an off-balance shot but everyone thinks I got hurt but I don't think I did. Um, and I just boxed him. I boxed him, clean points, win. Um, hit him with everything I had, but he, he was just tough. My style, I, I've got to fight a boxer style, because my first five years of being an amateur, I was at Repton, and in Repton, everyone knows them for being the classy boxing um, academy. They're really, really very classy fighters. Um, and then I moved for five years to West Ham, West Ham ABC, and everyone knows West Ham ABC is, is a fitness, grueling, hard fighting club. And so that's just changed me to a, a Box of fire. Possibly changed my life because I, I, I do something I love. This is my job now, and I, lo I love I love fighting, and this has changed my life. It makes me want to succeed, so I know my little boy won't have to do anything. So I love it. My little boy Hudson. Um, yeah, I do everything for him now. I make sure I, anything I win, I keep just so I can show him when he's a bit older, so he understands. And he loves boxing himself. He, he goes around punching me. So it's, it's nice to see him. As soon as he was born, I think, whilst he was um, in, in his mother's uh, belly, I won with a senior ABA title. And when he was born, I thought to myself, I had a massive rush of I had to look after him, and now, now I know exactly what I need to do in life to make sure that he had the best life, and he, yeah, that's, that's the defining moment for me. Um, a moment when I wanted to give up boxing, I know exactly when, I think, it was just before the senior ABA title in 2013. I did, I, I got to the quarterfinals the year before and I lost. 
and I just carried on training for a whole year and I was not going out, I wasn't having fun, I wasn't socialising with my friends and I thought to myself, this is getting too much, I wanted to give up and then I won the title and everything changed. On fight night, I, I want to impress. I want to make sure everyone knows what I'm about. I want to make sure they know. Oh, I want to make sure they want to look at me and think I want to watch them again. That's what that's the thing I want to do. Greatest thing about the sport of boxing is you can you can excel to unbelievable heights, but all you have to do is train hard. You have to you have to, you have to make sure you train hard. But I, I know I'll be able to get there because I, I work hard.